So, what's up with Newtonian physics and quantum physics? You got one scale over here and one scale over here. We use Newtonian physics to study the macro. Stars and galaxies and our planet and what happens when I throw a ball this way. And we use quantum physics to study the micro. And it comes with the philosophical saying, as above, so below. Something I hold very true. Something that's helped me understand physics and science in general. And that if one pattern can be found over here, you can apply that pattern everywhere over here. What vortex math has helped me understand is you start to look at the base frameworks of the dimensions, zero dimension, first dimension, second dimension. But when you get to the first dimension, you're looking at simple patterns. It's all very simple. And they start to fractalize dramatically, exponentially in the second dimension. And third dimension, it skyrockets. Can't even imagine the higher dimensions, how the information fractalized becomes extremely complex, but it starts very simple. And there is a pattern, a fractal pattern within this cosmology. And so, what's up with Newtonian physics and quantum physics? Why do they differ? Why have we not been able to create the bridge between the two? And it's because of perspective. It's how we perceive. Perceiving that way and perceiving that way. So I said, as above, so below. Well, we have to understand what's the difference between as above and so below. And that's perspective, is sentience. And so, if I'm holding a cube in my hand, and sadly don't have a cube, but you can visualize a cube, that cube has rigid, harsh lines. You can see in your hand, you can see, we can all visualize what the cube looks like. It's a very traditional piece of geometry. But we're viewing it from the outside in. What happens when you view it from the inside out? So it's just a globe. It's made of lines of latitude and longitude, straight lines that intersect each other at 90 degree angles. Um, or, well, yeah, 90 degree angles, just like a cube. But when you place it around a sphere, it becomes curved. Okay? There's a difference in perspective when looking outwards than when looking inwards. Because if I drew, draw, drew the lines of a cube around the Earth, and say these lines lit up, and I looked up into the sky, those lines would be curved. If I viewed them from the center of the Earth, or let's say just the center of a cube, then all those lines of the cube are curved. So the thing we need to start to understand is, how is our perspective within this matrix of reality affects the Newtonian physics and the quantum physics because there is a different way they are perceived. And this way it comes into as being one of the most fundamental things in all physics is the frame of reference. What is our frame of reference? And it's understanding that frame of reference, how that frame of reference, depending on which way we are going in the scale of reality, up or down, that there is an effect in terms of linear and cyclical information. But when we truly start to understand that concept of how perspective influences the physics and how we interpret and relate to the physics, can we really start to bridge those two together.